Hi, my name is Sharon Graves, Painting with Acrylics 101.com and Fine Nature Art by S.L. Graves. .blogspot.com. I know, long name, sorry. <laughs> Today we've picked some flowers from our yard and I just kind of want to go over some of what you're looking at here. Here you've got a sunflower with really lemon yellow uh, petals and then there's one here with these orange and I mean it's a yellow on the end but it's real orange in the center so if when you're painting something like this you need to remember that you need a different shade of yellow here than you have here and as you're looking at on your palette they'd have to be real different they'd have to be a, a actual lemon yellow or a, like a cad yellow light with a fair amount of white in it to lighten it up this much but you'd be better off to have a lemon yellow and this you'd have to have um, it looks like uh, burnt umber around the edges you'd need some orange and you'd need uh, some cat orange light and some um, yellow uh, cat yellow now on the zinnias and things we've got a lot of different shades going on we've got another a lighter but this is not a lemon yellow. This is, see the difference from that to the sunflower? <laughs> There's a lot of shades of yellow going on in here, but this is a warmer one. This lemon yellow is a cool color, so you, you have to remember that. Um, got this beautiful rust colored one right here, and it is really dark in the center, but around where it joins the center, um, I'm not sure you can see it on the video, but there's some real, uh, light orangish yellow colors in there so you'd want to bring that out also as well now also look at the back of this <laughs> let me see here if I can get that back there we go okay see the back of this sunflower look at it from the side you can see all these little spiky things technical terms you know spiky things <laughs> so you want to be able to show that to make it look very very real so when you're painting uh, flowers take a look at them first to really get up there and study you can see all these little zinnias have all these little X's in their um, center part this one here is kind of coral color but it's got all those X's see them in there so when you're painting, you want to really study the flowers that you're going to be working on and what's, what's their growth habit? What's the actual color that I'm seeing? Because as you just saw, we have one, two, three, four different shades of yellow uh, going on in this particular um, bouquet. So just uh, a few points for you to uh, consider when you're getting ready to paint some flowers. Have a great day.